Hi, I'm John from Backyard Getaways from Brampton, Ontario. And this is a project that we're doing, a complete backyard consisting of a pool, a uh, pool house, uh, some patio, some retaining walls, a hot tub. It's a true backyard getaway. We use the Banna Stone uh, product for the coping. Uh, it's rock faced, as you can see. We also use some uh, 24 by 24 by one inch banis for the stepping stones in the grass. And we have eight foot um, by six inch rock faced banis steps that we use to give us this beautiful um, walkway up to the patio area. We made use of the natural grade difference in the property. It allowed us to create some beautiful retaining walls. So this area here is a sun tanning ledge patio that we built with 24 by 36 inch by 1 inch Banis uh, flagstone. It's again, it's uh, dry laid on high performance bedding. It doesn't retain water. It, it breaks the capillary bond from the uh, sub base uh, gravel up to the, the flag so that it's always dry. And it again, it gives us uh, um, instant compaction. It allows us to get it nice and level and uh, it, it's just a, it's a really great product to use in combination with uh, the Banis flag. So we're just going to come up the uh, the stone steps here. We're going to take a look at the pool area, and um, same same thing here. We've got the uh, high performance bedding on top of a three quarter pressure run base um, for the compaction and the drainage, as I mentioned before. So the reason why we use HPB, which is high performance bedding as a final bedding material where we lay the stones is for two main reasons. One is for the compaction. You pretty much get instant compaction as soon as it's put down, so you're going to get very little settlement of the stone. And uh, the second reason is for drainage. Uh, the HPV is almost uh, completely free draining, so the moisture uh, from the rainfall, whatever, is just going to go uh, right through the HPB and into the uh, sub-base layer and drain away to, uh, wherever we have it sloped. With regular screening, you don't get that. It, it holds the moisture and it also has a tendency, because it holds the moisture, it also has a tendency to keep the stones wet. I put spacers in between the joints so they're equally spaced for when we put sand. The 24 by 36 inch flagstone slabs uh, in a running bond pattern. We've used the Banis 16 inch um, bull nose rounded coping for this pool to give it a very modern look. This, this backyard is a little bit of a blend of a modern and a traditional. And the rounded uh, coping edge just really gives it that modern look and we mortared the coping. So I just want to take you over to the cabana area where we've used some more Banis product in uh, different applications. We've used the Banis again, the 24 by 36 inch, but we've wet laid it on top of a uh, mortar bed. We've used the 12 inch Banis coping rock face as a coping sill for the floor of the cabana. And we've wet laid all the, uh, the uh, flagstone. We've gone a different direction. We've gone 90 degrees to the main pool deck and we've mortared this just to kind of give it more of a tile effect to separate it from the pool deck. The final uh, application for the Banis product on this project was we actually took a 12 inch rock faced coping and we cut it in half basically and we used it as a sill stone for our uh, uh, mortared wall. And as you can see it actually uh, looks really good and uh, it, it just ties in with the rest of the project. It ties in with the uh, retaining walls, the coping, and it really just ties everything together. So this area here, um, you can still see the uh, three quarter inch limestone crusher run base that we have underneath the high performance bedding. Um, this pretty much provides the, the strength for the, the uh, base. Uh, we have here about a, a, at least 12 inches of uh, crushed stone compacted and then we'll lay the uh, high performance bedding a couple of inches on top of this just for drainage and leveling. This pool is equipped with an automatic uh, pool cover and uh, we've, here we've created an auto cover box where the cover will actually retract into and we use a series of uh, 
um, brackets to hold the 16-inch uh, rounded pulpy, and uh, that still gives us space for the cover to retract into, and at the same time, it's, uh, we're able to walk on, we call this a walk-on stone lid.